They're not gun-free zones. They're gun oppression zones. Every gun oppression zone is a mini North Korea, a nearly half, if not more, of Americans approve these little slices of North Korea. Kansas College Concealed Carry gets triggered. That's what we're going to talk about on Daily Shooter. My name is Paul Gordon for New Shooting Self-Defense, and this is The Daily Shooter. Today's date is Thursday, December 15th, 2016. Let's get on with the show. Kansas College Concealed Carry Gets Triggered. This You can find this article on stateofwake.com. On Wednesday, December 14th, the Kansas Board of Regents approved new concealed carry gun policies for the six state universities that are now under a campus carry law signed by Governor Sam Brownback in 2013. The law takes effect July 1st, 2017. The plan approves concealed carry on any college campus. It also, that is, any state college campus, it also includes stun guns, but not tasers. Universities may ban guns from buildings that have metal detectors or security guards. Anyone over the age of 21 is allowed to conceal carry unless they are, quote-unquote, mentally ill or have felony convictions. You must be in control of your handgun at all times, whether carrying or not. You must also use a holster. If your handgun has a safety, the safety must always be on. Handguns may not be stored anywhere on campus except on a residential unit that the gun owner already or actually occupies. Guns must be stored in university-approved storage devices. And so far, nine states... Colorado, Idaho, and now Kansas, Mississippi, Oregon, Texas, Tennessee, Utah, and Wisconsin have laws that allow for concealed carry on college campuses. Now that the Kansas legislature has passed a law and it was signed, four years later, everyone can celebrate when the law takes effect. This law recognizes the fundamental human reality of self-preservation, self-defense. What do almost all the recent so-called mass shootings have in common? Well, they all took place in a gun-free zone, a phrase that is not lost in irony given its use of the term free. So it goes without saying that if you actually want to cut down on mass shootings, you should end these gun oppression zones and allow individuals to execute that fundamental human reality of self-preservation. Still, think of how this law was passed and the conditions that have been placed on it. It does not, at the end of the day, recognize the unadulterated human reality of self-preservation. Rather, it pays lip service to that reality while offering terms and conditions placed on you, that's right, you, the one on the receiving end of government and university rules and regulations for how you can exercise that human reality of self-preservation. Before the dust settles, these universities, houses they are by anti-liberty, pro-state control indoctrinators, and the victims of their misinformation campaign, the useful idiots called students, those loopholes are bound to be exploited. Loopholes like determining who exactly is mentally ill. Like uh, the loopholes that create cost-prohibitive standards for what universities call approved storage devices for your guns. Now, if this were truly a sincere recognition of a fundamental human reality of self-preservation, there would be no limits, there would be no restrictions, and no passage of a bill that allowed for 
four years of more gun oppression zones on state universities to continue as as this law actually allowed. Yeah, I, I suppose I suppose it's better to have just a whiff of authentic liberty rather than an outward denial of it. But while we celebrate the benevolence of our state masters, let's not get too caught up in the false sense of authentic liberty that laws like this create. Thank you for joining us on today's Daily Shooter with Paul Gordon. This has been Kansas College Concealed Carry Triggered. Join us on this same YouTube channel for the next edition of New Shooting Self-Defense's Daily Shooter. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and remember to hit that bell. Hit that bell. Because if you don't hit that bell, you won't see when we get new videos because that's how YouTube rolls. Also, you can like us on Facebook at New Shooting Self-Defense and always remember your ABCs. Always be carrying.